Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see by the title of the video, I am bringing you a Tesco food shop. I have decided to go to Tesco this time. I was gonna go to Asda, but I thought, oh, it's like an hour away. I just, oh, Tesco's half an hour away and like, yeah. And I'm actually a little bit sick of Audi at the minute, so. I have been in there today though. I picked up something else, um, a house plant. I'll show you, let me show you. This, this little plant, 2 99 this was. I really like this. A lot of people are saying as well, because I've been posting a lot of like plants and stuff that I've been buying, because I have gone mad on indoor plants. A lot of people have been messaging me saying that they're quite bad. Some of them are quite bad for um, animals and stuff. I've got a dog and five cats. <sighs> I didn't really know this, so I'm gonna look into this a little bit more. Luckily though, the animals don't really go near the plants. I'm hoping they don't really affect them. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm showing you my weekly Tesco shop. If you think you'll like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and um, keep on watching. It's quite a big one this week. Um, I haven't been for a while to do a proper shop. So yeah, it's quite a big one. I will show you like this and I will show you some um, of me and my ugly mug showing you. But um, yeah, I think I'll start here. Let's get this out of the way. I've got some cat food. I've got the ones in jelly. Like I said, I always get jelly and I've got two of these. Six tins, they're £2.30. And um, yeah, I never get the pouches. They don't last. Like I said, I've got five cats. They do not last. Um, and I also picked up some of this. This dog looks like my Sam as well. <laughs> This was £2.60 for this bag. Grab these as well. So a mixed punnet of grapes. What were they reduced to? £1.62 and you get quite a big box. So I'm going to chuffle that. The kids all really like these in their pack lunch. I've got like these little small tubs. Um, come on, chubby fingers. They're really dry at the minute. Oh, so much hand washing and hand sanitizer. They're so dry. So yeah, I've just got these small tubs that I'll put in their pack lunch um, with some grapes in and stuff. And I've got some cheap cola. Um, yeah, I, I sometimes find it's all right. Um, yeah, I do really like the branded one, but it's quite expensive. So I thought 50p, give it a go, bang some ice cubes in, you know, whatever. If you fancy a Coke, it'll do, won't it? <laughs> I'm going to start here now because there's some frozen bits in here that I need to bang in the freezer. Um, I have, da -da -da, what we got, Whitby Seafoods, Cod Bites. I've never seen these before and I thought they looked really nice. Um, they were a quid and um, I also, Scampi bites as well. I really love scampi. I got these crispy potato pops. I've these before. They just remind me of school. I think they were a pound. They might have been a pound or less. They were no more than a pound. Now these. Oh my God. These are the one. Do you know what? I love this kind of food. I, me and Steve will cook a whole bag of these between us. Like sandwiches. They are so nice. Honestly. New cheesy recipe. They're really good. I love them. £1.60 for them. But they do have an offer on. Like I think it's two for, I don't know, three quid or something daft like that. I got some fish fingers, 69p. What I've got here, some spicy potato wedges. Um, I think they're about 60p. These, these are part of a deal. So I'll just get the, um, I'll show you these first. Some mushrooms. <laughs> I usually show you my milk and mushrooms first. I'll show you this meal deal I got. I have shown you it before, but I got some other bits today. So um, I'll just go get the pizzas out the fridge. You get this meal deal. Um, where you get two pizzas, a side, a dessert, and um, dips. So the pizzas we got were pepperoni, and these are stuffed crust as well. Like stuffed crust! Um, oh my god, stuffed crust is the one, and the big cheese. So they're quite big, they are quite big. And um, this is the pudding we got, it's a full size hot chocolate fudge cake. I think I had that before, but I never had these before. So I think a fly just came out of that bag then, oh my god. Um, Cajun onion rings, how nice do they look? They look really good. It's a lot cheaper than a takeaway. And we've got like a little stack of dips. I will show you them when I get to one. Pick these up. Do you know what? Come to think of it, it's a really small bag. So I've got baby potatoes with herb butter. I for this bag and I could have done the herb butter myself. If I'd have just got a normal bag, I would have got a lot more potatoes in there for a quid. Yeah, that's one bag and the meal deal. Also picked up some milk and um, some of this greek style yogurt i really like greek style yogurt with fruit so i'll probably bang some of these grapes in i haven't got any honey but i usually would put a bit of honey in there just a bit of a drizzle on top um it just adds that really nice sweet flavor because this can be quite um it tastes a little bit sour but that's what i usually do but i forgot honey so um yeah i'm just gonna go into this bag now um i got some bread this was 50p and the milk was £1.50. This one actually looks really good. It's Tesco's own and it was 56p. Really soft as well. I can't stand hard bread. 
like the cheap hard bread. I'm so reluctant to pay like one pound something for the high end bread. So um, 56p, honestly, it's dead soft. Some broccoli. Um, I think they were like 50 something p as well. Oh, these are the dips. So this is what you get. We've got three garlic and herb dips. It's our favourite dip, this one. So um, everyone likes that in this house. So we went for that one. Got some tomato sauce as well. This is just the cheap one, 43p. My youngest goes through tomato sauce, like honestly, you wouldn't believe. Also picked up some of these. Look at her buying Tesco Finest. Um, sweet Romero, I think that's how you say it, peppers. Tesco Finest day. Only with a reduced sticker on though, 56p. Oh, they weren't too bad before, £1.12. Got some cheese strings, they were a quid, um, just for the kids' pack lunch. And lastly, some apples. I think they were 79p. Just put the milk in the fridge, and um, I forgot that I put these in. So, I'll just quickly show you these as well. Steve's favourite dessert, two crusted slices. He loves these from Coupland's. So, um, yeah, grab some of these. I'm not sure how much these were, but I think they're really messy. You literally cannot bite into that, because that middle is so soft, and it goes everywhere. Like, it literally goes everywhere. Um, we have some opened salami. I need to put some foil around that. Um, yeah, that was a quid. This is my favourite seafood cocktail mix. Um, really good for sandwiches. I get a bit of everything in there. It's so nice. That was one pound fifty-five. I'm going to show you. Oh, I can't speak. I've just had a glass of fresh orange. Um, and it's really made my mouth water. So I'm kind of like I can't get a sentence out. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm a bit dribbly now. God. Right, I'm going to show you this, but I can't speak. I literally feel like I'm dribbling like my mouth. You know when you have something, you're a bit like... Okay, I'm going to try and get my words out now. I'm going to show you from this angle now. See, so yeah, I got some spuds. Jacket potatoes, my bag's ripped. But yeah, I got some spuds. I'll get rid of that. Oh God, I'm dropping them. See my heron video, you'll know that I bought some frozen ones. They were £1.50. Oh my God, they were £1.50 and these were £1.00 for four. This is what we're having tonight, actually. So I'm going to get them in in a minute. I have put the oven on. I have some bleach, um, 36p, quite cheap. These are on offer at the minute, so we are suckers for a pepper army in this house. I know a lot of people are like, uh, uh, pepper army, it's full of bum holes and lips and all sorts. £1.36 for these. Somebody's already had two, I don't know who. Some of these crisps as well, 75p um, reduced. I've got a lot of tins in here, so I'll just show you. I've got my four for a pound on my beans. There's only three, so there's probably one somewhere lurking about in another bag. But yeah, four for a pound on them. And do you know what? They've got a ring pull. I can't... I, uh, the ones with a can opener. Oh, they drive me mad. I'm so used to everything being ring pull. And when you get one that needs a tin opener, I'm just like... Damn. I got some cheap gravy as well. This is 25p. I, I haven't seen this for ages, actually. Um, in quite a lot of the shops, I only get the cheap gravy. So, yeah, I'm glad to get that because I just think it all tastes the same. Have a tin of lentil and bacon soup. My camera's not focusing. The lighting's really bad today. That like, is such a shit day. Like, the weather has just been raining. So, I picked these up for the cats. Every. Oh, what's the matter? You're awesome. Oh, I love you. You want to go walkies later? Do you want to go walkies later? Shall we say walkies? Got you a new toy. Every so often I get the cats um, a tin of fish and I get on this. This was £1.10. Um, pilchards. Oh my god, I got it in tomato sauce. <gasps> I just realised I got it in tomato sauce. They won't like that. Oh, they only like the normal one. What's up? Do you want to go outside? Is that what's the matter? Come on then. It's a bit wet out there. They like the one in just like the normal juice, like brine or whatever it is. Damn, stuck with a tinny of pilchards. Lastly from this haul, I got some black olives. My camera isn't gonna focus, there we go. Um, I usually get green olives. I do love a green olive. I haven't had a black olive for a while, so I thought, oh, I'll grab some of them. And um, I also got some green chilies as well. This is like the kebab ones that you get on a kebab salad. Although in my area, they don't, they don't have it. And I love these. I can literally just sit and eat these out of the jar. And olives, I literally just, yeah, just sit there eating them on the sofa, well away, bit of shit teller. These were £1.60 and I think these were 55p. So not bad. I'm not, I might have bought actually, I might have bought some green ones as well, but I'm so shit at packing that it's all over the place. I'm on to my next bag and this just looks like salad bits. It's cucumber, I think this was about 49p or something like that. 75p for my tomatoes, I think they've gone up in price. Little shits, I noticed that. Kiwis, they were 75p. I forgot about these, I got some reduced cherries. 
they um, were £1.25. Steve loves his sausage and beans. Um, that's like his lunchtime thing. I got some of this tuna as well. My camera is driving me mad. I'm really sorry about that noise again. Um, I have explained before, it's just the lens, like, drives me mad. Camera lenses are quite expensive. Next thing I've got is some of these chin and be- Chin? Chin. I've got some chin and bean melts. Also picked up some battered um, chicken dippers. Are the chicken dippers? Yeah, I love a chicken dipper. They just remind me of being a kid, having chicken dippers. I really love them, juicy and tender. You get 20 in there, I think they were, oh, I'm not telling you the prices, am I? These were a quid or just under. And um, sometimes I wonder if I'm making these prices up or I've got a really good memory. <laughs> um, the chicken dippers, oh, I don't know how much. I can't tell you that because I can't remember. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Another ketchup, like I said, my son is absolutely obsessed with it. He asked for it in his school sandwiches and everything. Got some cheese, um, this is the Red Leicester, £1.79 for this, which is kind of like just a standard price. It's what I pay in Lidl or Aldi if I go and get my cheese from there. Just another tin of tuna, I'm not sure how much these were. So we've got this as well, another finest item and it ain't got a reduced sticker on, who is she? Who is she, honestly? This will be Steve, this is. Roasted tomato and burrata raviola. Look at that. That's from the finest range. I'll definitely be Steve, that, yeah. It looks nice, but, oh, what, the tomatoes roasted and burrata. I don't even know what burrata is. Got some of these butter biscuits. My camera's really not focusing. I'm so sorry, there we go. Um, they do have um, a more expensive brand of these, but these ones are 85p, the other ones are like a quid. So I can't tell you how much these were. I have to ask Big Steve on that. And lastly from this bag, you can tell I packed this bag because it's like meat and mixed with everything else. I got um, a gammon joint. I really love gammon. It has to be smoked. This was £3.32. You get so much, it's quite big. It is quite big. It goes really far as well, honestly. I can make like a couple of days worth of dinners out of this. Um, whether it be like pasta with like chunks of gammon in there in like a cream sauce or... Um, what else do we have? Make it like a Sunday dinner as well. So with all like roast potatoes and vegetables and gravy and stuff. And we have gammon chips um, and egg. So literally this will last like a couple of days. It's well worth the £3.32 that you spend on it. I'm not sure how much this was. Um, I asked Steve just to grab me some mints and he came back with this. It's Irish lean beef steak mints, 5% fat. God, we are living. We steak mince we are absolutely living five percent we've got a bit of finest there a bit of finest there <laughs> we are living this week lena selected cuts finely ground for tenderness um this is for the kids for a little bolognese on to my next bag and um, i've got some pasta 45p for this um like i said just with like the gammon and stuff or even bacon do you know like if you haven't got gammon in but you've got bacon or something i snip it up and just chuck it in a bit of cheese on top a bit of cheap pasta sauce 34p baguette winging it. Picked up some bin bags. I'm not sure how much this was. Probably about a quid or something like that. Now these, these look really nice. I had to get them. And the kids really like this Biscoff stuff. These have the cream in the middle. So um, yeah, they were a quid. Some more finest. Again, 56p. Picked up some of this mayonnaise. A little tip, don't get Tesco's own own brand. Well, I personally think it tastes like shit anyway. Um, this one is like the next one up, so I'm gonna give this a go. The other one is just disgusting. It's 42p and it just tastes like shit, in my opinion, anyway. Have a selection of cheese strings that have been opened by Steve in the car. We've lost the packaging somewhere amongst all of this. Um, got a bit of mango chutney. We're gonna have Cory Knight. We have Cory Knight quite a lot. And um, yeah, a bit of mango chutney. Cannot forget about mango chutney. I don't know about anyone else, but I really like um, mackerel in the tin and they have like different flavors. Well, I got in sweet chili sauce this time. Um, I think this was about 80p, something like that. I really like them. They're really good on toast or they're really good with a salad. Got some more broccoli and apples, um, just stocking up on all the fruit and veg this week. Yes, I did. I got some olives. I got some green olives. These ones though, are pimiento stuffed green olives, hand-picked. I hope they wash their hands. They're cheap, about 55p. And they're just a load of tins. Got some more lentil soup, some more sausage and beans. They're actually really nice, the sausage and beans. Oh, sweet condensed milk. Oh my God, that's what I wanted to show you. So um, I'm making this dessert. I've seen a little video going around and they used this. So they poured, the, they actually did it in the slow cooker. Now I have got a slow cooker, but it hasn't got a plug on the end. It's just a wire. And I don't really know how to attach a plug. So sweet condensed milk, chocolate and melted it and then poured it all in. 85p for this condensed milk. It was evaporated milk as well and I nearly got that, but I'm not sure of the difference and if that would have worked. 
Got a tin of sweet corn, this was 50p. Garden peas, they were 21p a tin. Which I think is really good because if you're gonna have like gammon chips and peas or like that, the peas are cheap, the gammon's cheap, and you get a bag of chips for a quid. And just more beans. I'm literally down to my last two bags and I'll show you them like this. Um, but the camera's gonna make that a horrible noise. I'm so sorry. I got some white rolls. Um, I'm not sure how much they were, about a quid I think. And these, oh my god, I love a puck pie. It has to be chicken and mushroom. I've got two of those. Um, I've got some hams as well. So I picked up some Hazlitt. I absolutely love Hazlitt. I think that's how you say it. Hazlitt, Hazlitt, Hazlitt. I really love it. 85p and um, this one as well. The pork and egg roll, that was 85p. Just for sandwich fillers for the kids for school. And um, yeah, I got a lettuce. Yeah, I got some of these spring onions. Have some bananas. I have to show you this way because the lighting, this is where it's not focusing, so you can't really see. Um, unless it is going to work, I don't know. Let me bring the bag here. Have some creamy coleslaw. This is the, oh my God, we've got finest again. Oh my God, I didn't even notice. Who does she think she is? <laughs> um, yeah, I got some finest. You can tell it's for like the poche because um, it's a small one. It's a really small one, and I bet it cost the earth. I didn't even realise I got that one. I want to say hello. Oh, I do. Hello, gorgeous girl. And boy. And bo oh, my God. Hello. Oh, hello. So, for Corey Night this week, we're having Sharwood's Boona. Boona flavour. Can't remember what that one tastes like, actually. Um, got some pate. A 45p. I'm really bad at telling you the prices, aren't I? I do some and then don't do some. Some um, cheese slices, they were 50p. And some desserts. These are Steve's favourite kind of dessert. He really loves like these chocolatey ones. They do look really nice, these ones. I don't like the ones he gets from Lidl or Alder, but these ones look quite nice. I'm just gonna show you the last bag here because the camera noise is driving me mad. I imagine it's quite bad for you guys watching as well, so I'm just gonna show you this way. It still probably will make that horrible noise. Um, I got some more bananas. They're like a quid. These, honestly, they're so nice. Chicken and mushroom ones, two of them. They do have the steak ones the chicken ones win for me every time um i've got some low fat yogurts as well because i can't have the fun ones although we didn't buy fun ones this week these were 69p so you get two banana two toffee and two vanilla um they're quite big you get quite a lot i've got some wraps because in my heron haul i'll show you that i've got um quite a lot of corn stuff that i'm just gonna like chop up and stick in wraps or we make chicken caesar wraps or any kind of wrap really whatever we've got lurking around i don't like to waste food so whatever we've got i'll cook it up or um we'll make something anyway and yeah it usually ends up in wraps or something like that, like that. Got the kids some sweets from the sweetie section, the little pizzas, they really like stuff like this. I got this one, which I'm just gonna melt, and then two of the cheap ones. This big one was £1.50, and then these ones, um, the Molly's range, which is just milk chocolate, was 30p each. They do have dark and white chocolate as well. Foil, I nearly got tricked. So this is just normal foil, 65p. Um, I didn't see that one, I thought it was somewhere else, you know, playing tricks with my eyes and that. And I nearly got the expensive one. Or like an expensive uh, one. Got four packs of baby wipes just staying stocked up. You're probably not going to see in a minute. I've got like a mounting going on here. Some of these Viscounts. I hate these. I don't really like the minute chocolate. She says I had two of the club ones yesterday. Well, I got oh some more of these. So I'm going to mix some white chocolate in there as well. Um, it's going to be a really calorific dessert. But I've seen it online where they were just like throwing all kinds of chocolate in there and the condensed milk like the sweet condensed milk and it did look really nice. Lastly from this haul, I got some cereal. So I have these Weetabix, they were 74p for 24. Can you believe it? 74p, 74p. These 89p, um, just fake Cocoa Pops. I'm not really sure what these ones are like. I know Aldi's ones are not that good. The chocolate just like goes. As soon as the milk goes on, it's gone. They don't taste very chocolate at all. Um, so yeah, it's very hit and miss. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too long. Um, yeah, that, that's it. That's my weekly shopping haul this week, Tesco. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe. Like share on Facebook and things like that. That really would mean a lot. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to everybody for your continued support on my channel. Like it really means a lot. All the haters. This is another point actually I wanted to mention. I mentioned it on Instagram. Um, I have had to remove quite a few hateful comments just recently. Like, nothing major, nothing I can't handle, you know? Yeah, like, I, why? Why comment hateful things? If you're watching this video right now and you're, gonna, you're about to comment something hateful, just fuck off, just go. Honestly, I, I don't sit here upset, I don't sit here sad. 
like I said on Instagram, it's literally, oh babe, look at this. Have a little a little laugh, a sad little laugh they must lead sort of thing. And I report the user and I delete the comment and that's it. That is it, that is all I do. Like, if you're gonna take time out to comment on my video, then honestly, it's, it's just not worth it. Um, Yeah, just don't bother, it, it's, it doesn't hurt me. It takes a lot to hurt me mentally, honestly, like it really does. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't bother, honestly, it's not welcome. I just remove your comment, like, that's it. And just for anybody else that's watching, if people are constantly giving you negativity in your life, just get rid of it, you don't need it. Honestly, you will live such a happier life if you just, just get rid of the shit, you don't need it. People are texting you horrible things, block their number. People are messaging you, block them. People, family and friends, it doesn't have to be whoever. Like, it can be family, anyone. Just get rid of them. You really don't need it and a weight will be lifted. That's the end of my Tesco haul. I went a bit, um, I went a bit deep. I went a bit deep. But yeah, I just, oh, yeah. I just, I just want you to, oh, I'm getting, getting ahead of myself now. Can't even speak. I just want you all to know that like i'm so thankful for everybody that is supportive of my channel like i really am like thank you so much love you all honestly i absolutely love you all so thank you for all the nice people that comment nice for things for all the karens and lindas and everyone else not my mother-in-law not you karen but for everybody like yeah just go away honestly just go really you're not welcome on my channel but yeah hope whatever you're doing wherever you are in the world um you're having a great day or evening and i'll see you in my next video